Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do a makeup collection video and I'm going to show you the brushes I got. I don't have that many brushes and I don't have that much makeup, but I got what, like, a little bit that I got for Christmas this past year, you see in the Christmas haul and, you know, my best friend's about there doing her hair. <laughs> she didn't exactly want to be, like, full part of this makeup collection, but she's still about there. But... To start with, I'm going to show you the bag that I have. I got this at, like, Vera Bradley a long time ago. Like, it came with one of the purses that I got. And I got this, like, in eighth grade. I've had it ever since. And to start with, I'm just going to, like, you know, start with what's inside. I'm going to start with foundation. It is Revlon's Color Stay Makeup Fond Detent. Normal, dry, and it's shade 130 porcelain. This is what it looks like. Excuse us. I don't know how to get this off. Like, I tried, like, a rag and soap and water and everything, and it wouldn't come off. Mascara uses Maybelline's New York, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. This is really, really good. I've used this for, like, ever since March. Like, it works really well for mom eyelashes i got this particular palette it's the color workshops nude like you can tell i use this particular shade a lot sorry about the glare but there's this i use this particular palette every single time i haven't even touched the other ones yet this is my powder it is shade 10 Fair Light and Vo Revlon's Photo Ready. This is what it looks like. It's a really good, like, it works really good. Like, it don't really clump much. Then there is the palette, the Color Workshop's Color Wave. Like, there's a lot of different colors in this. This glare is killing it, though, like... <laughs> But, like, I haven't even used this yet, but I really, really, really love that pink and that orange shade. Is she putting her, um, hair foam on? <laughs> mousse. It's mousse, y'all. This foam. is the... Uh... <laughs> it looks like foam. This is the Color Workshop Smoky Eyeshadow. It's got, like, all the smoky colors. So, I feel like this is the only color that really don't look smoky. It's like a plum color. Yeah, it looks plum. Um, I got one more palette. This in here. It is the Love Struck eyeshadow palette. Though. These are so pretty, though. This would be perfect for, like, Valentine's Day or something. But, yeah. Then I have, like, this, which ain't really makeup. It's the Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness by Skin Nutrition's New York. I got this in my um, Christmas haul. Y'all, this was a dollar and it actually works really well. Like, I use it all the time. Right here, this came with um, the workshop and everything. It is the bronzer that comes with it. Like, if y'all get, like, that 89-piece set, I can get a lot of stuff with it. I don't get it at Walmart because it works really good. This is the highlight and contour. Like... I don't really use the contour because I haven't figured out how to contour yet. I know that is so sad. And this is the strobing. I don't know what that is. But this is it. Like, I don't know what you do with it. What? <laughs> this is the blush. And y'all, like, I don't even know how my hair is doing this time, but like, you know, it's hair. It's just being hair today. Um, right here, I have this lipstick. It is, I think this is Cover Girl. Is this Cover Girl? Maybelline is Maybelline. And this is Shade 705 Blushing Bud. This is what it looks like, and like, this is like my go-to lipstick. It's a really good color. 
And I got this color, which is also Maybelline, and it is on fire red, shade 895. It is a really bright color, like bright. And these don't exactly have colors, but it just come with the um the color workshop. Like there's this one. I haven't used it, but there's this one. There's this one that comes with a color workshop. I would call it plum because like it's like purplish. I don't know what color you would call it, but like I haven't used it yet. And then there's like this burgundy-ish color. I really wish they would have named these. But like they didn't, so they're just there. I think I got one one more of these that ain't named. Yeah, one more of these. Well, this is named. It's called Easter Bunny. This ain't from the color workshop, but this is like so pink. Like, <laughs> really pink. This is from True Matte's Broadway Colors. Oh, wrong end. Yeah, I gotta get that off. Um, there's this one, which is Milani. It is called Empress Shade 53. I used this one a lot, like, um, the last time I used it was from, like, a long time ago for the color guard tryouts my junior year, I'm going into senior year. That was a really, really pretty shade, but only for certain things. This is Milani also, and it is Matte Love, shade 73. My cousin loves to borrow this, like, I think she uses it more than me. I use it once and she's used it like 10 times. Also, I have like these eyeliners. This is just black. I don't know where the top is, so I mean like I really take very well care of it. This is like, I would say like a bronze color. Like it's just like, I don't even know like. There's a purple one too. These in the color workshop, nothing was labeled for it, like none of them. There's also these two. They're just liquid eyeliners. And to get the makeup off with, I have this, these makeup remover cleansing towelettes. I showed this on one of my own, the grandmother's birthday haul, and also for the prom time, like, it's like a little case prom time, it's got all my primers in it, like, it's about hard candy, this is really adorable. I have the hard candy matte sheer envy setting spray, oh uh, this is sheer envy primer long wear. This is for skin tones, like it's for any skin tone. This is for your face, like you can use it or you can use like the settings, like the prom spray, which is what this is. This is what I use. It's like a sheer envy hydrating mist. Like this is like, it works really, it makes your face, it smells like coconut and it makes your face like really soft. This is eyeshadow primer, hard candy. Oh, this is hard candy actually. And this is a lip primer. It works really, really well. And this is Hard Candy's Color Correcting Finishing Powder. And that is all for the makeup. Like, that is all the makeup I have. Um, y'all post down in the comments below what makeup y'all have and which y'all's favorite brand. I didn't exactly show the brushes. I can. But, like, all I really have is, like, sponges. I have, like, two sponges. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, it's right here. It's, like, tiny. It's so cute. Like, I gotta wash this. I gotta soak these where they'll be, like, washed. Because this is just disgusting. Like, like none of these are, like, labeled at all. But, I have this. It's a creasing brush. 
and I got this one, the powder brush, like, this came in the color workshop. Oh, I have one more eyeliner. It's like a, I would call it like a burgundy. It's pretty though. I got this eyeshadow brush and I got this other mascara that came with the um, color workshop. It's lengthening and separate. It actually works good, but it looks more natural. Like you don't really have anything on there. This is a contour brush. It's like slanted, like looks really cool. I got the precision contour, like it's like really small. It's kind of cute, like it's adorable. And um, if I can get it. I got the angled eyeliner brush, which I also use this one for like my, well I use this for like putting the eyeliner on top sometimes, which I, when I don't feel like wearing eyeliner I put eyeshadow. This one I use for my eyebrows, it ain't even labeled like this is just old. I just use it for my eyebrows to put the eyeshadow in my eyebrows because I don't really like eyebrow gel, I just use eyeshadow. But yeah y'all, leave in the comments below what all y'all's favorite. Jeez, you are tapping that screen like crazy. Jeez, I broke that screen. But y'all put in the comments below what y'all's favorite. <laughs> favorite makeup is. And, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy this video. And give it a thumbs up if y'all like it. And subscribe. Turn on the notifications. And, yeah. I will be posting again soon. I'm sorry I was supposed to post all week. But yeah, we have like a lot of stuff going on. We're probably going to start filming again like tomorrow because the lake was supposed to go home tomorrow. Ain't tomorrow Saturday? No, tomorrow Sunday. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, she's supposed to go home tomorrow. But we'll probably film either early in the morning <laughs> that is not funny you're not laughing at me you was laughing she's making me feel like i'm retarded <laughs> but yeah we'll post again um probably gonna talk about boyfriend issues like the topic because we got a lot of them not even gonna pay any attention to her anymore but yeah y'all give this a thumbs up like i said before turn on the notifications i love you guys and i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and sooner or later i will figure out how to do a thumbnail i have not figured it out yet but one day i will i love you guys and yeah alika probably won't be in a lot of videos upcoming because like i don't know the next time she's coming over she's been here all week Probably gonna have another movie night tonight. I don't know yet. Yes. But yeah. Yes. Love you.